Hey guys, if you would like to factory reset your PlayStation, this is how to do it. So let's just go right into your settings. Under your settings, you're gonna scroll down, scroll all the way down, so you guys see this very last option. Click on it. From here, again, your last option, which is our third option, will be this. And from here, you have two options. So usually, I would always recommend going for full. And that's because most likely you're doing this because you're selling your PlayStation. So if you don't want anybody to be able to retrieve your information or anything like that, then go on and do full. If you're maybe giving it to a friend, family member, and you trust them that they won't try to retrieve stuff <laughs> from your PlayStation, then go ahead and do the quick way. So obviously this is more secure, the full one. That's why it takes so long to do it. And this quick one is fast because it does get rid of everything completely, but people could potentially retrieve some information. So make sure to choose the one that makes sense to you. In this case, we're gonna assume that you're selling your PlayStation, that's why you're doing this. So we're gonna go on to full, we're gonna click there, we're gonna initialize this, so let's check this out. And it's gonna deactivate it. From here, just press on yes. It's just gonna restart your PlayStation, so you will see a black screen, then a loading bar. So we should see that coming right up. All right, so our PS4 will restart, then we're gonna see black screen with a timer. So it's gonna tell us about an hour or so. However, for most of you, it's gonna take about two hours or two and a half hours. It's gonna be very long to do this. Now that depends, all right? But most of you, yes, get ready for two hours if you selected this option. After that, you will see another screen that's just gonna say connect your controller. By then you're done. So at this point, yes, you can connect your controller, just press any button select your language and just set up your PS4 again, if you would like to. If you don't wanna set it up yet, just wanna leave it there for somebody else to set it up, then go ahead, turn it off, and you are all done with this video. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.